Great. So a pen argument is is an interesting one. We're going to take a function and add another argument at the end of the parameters of, for that function or the arguments for that function, function giving that type that we specify. So here we have a function that takes a number and then a string. It returns a number, but we're not so concerned about the return. And when we pass append argument, when we pass that function that we just made to append argument with Boolean, it'll have now three arguments, the last of which will be Boolean. So yeah, where, what do you think? Where would you start with something like this? I think uh, I want to start by making it a function of some kind. So let's uh, okay. I can break this on a new line here. So let's make it a function that returns the mm -hmm. same as the input and has the same parameters. Um, I'll help you out with the syntax here. Thanks. Yeah. Um, um, and then it needs to be like something like that. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, parameters. So the error we're getting here is that T doesn't satisfy the constraint that parameter specifies. We can solve uh -huh. that with like a um, with a guy over here with a generic yeah, we're constraint. Yeah, a generic constraint. Yeah. yeah. So some people like to do this, by the way. Uh, they'll say um, they'll say that, but that doesn't work. Um, <laughs> there's a funny thing about function. Um, function is just this, this interface with name. It's also because interfaces are additive. It has this, uh, this guy here for symbol. Let's see. There's a, it's a little complicated. So what, what I like to see and what people do a lot in these things is to do, um, args, any array. And that is one situation where you can't use unknown and, uh, and then throw in unknown there. Oop. Sorry. Oh, we lost my VS code because I accidentally... Uh, there it is. Oops. Is it back? <gasps> it's wait. No, I picked the wrong VS code. Okay, hold on. Fix it in post. I will have to fix that in post. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, this is a situation where you don't need to use unknown. You can just pass in the 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 arguments as any. But I'm sorry. You have to. You have to use unknown. Um, yeah. You if it's to possible use to any. use unknown, please use unknown. <laughs> that's, that's what I like to think. But All right. Um, so I think at this point now, um, what we have is we're actually just doing the exact same thing mm -hmm, as yeah. we already were, and we need to append to a tuple. Um, and truth be told... I'm not exactly sure how you do this in TypeScript. So just like that. That works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just toss it how in there. How convenient. Um otherwise, I mean, the the part where it gets tricky is if you don't think to do the spread on the like if you're in this situation and you're like, "Oh, I need to add to parameters. How do I do it?" Um it can be weird to remember that it's totally valid to spread objects or spread tuples together like this to kind of concatenate them. And yeah, you can just put it there, and you can confirm that a lot of ways. Like one of the w one of the ways I like to do it sometimes is just by switching it and seeing what the output is. So these tests are going to fail, but if we go to like a two here, for example, or I'm sorry, let's just do a one. Um, we see that a one has arg zero is a boolean, and then args one is a number, and then string like that. So by switching it, we can look at it again and then see that now that Boolean thing has been put on the end. So we're kind of like manipulating it like like that. Um, cool. Any other thoughts on this one? It's pretty straightforward, actually. Yeah, wasn't too bad. It's mostly a matter of do you know the tuple syntax for this one, I think. Mm -hmm. There's, I've, I looked around for other ways that people have solved this one, and I found a couple other ones. Uh, let's, let's just rename this args with a zero. I'll show this. So um, mm. this, is, this is basically the same thing. It uses inference instead of just grabbing the return type. I mean, also the return type under the hood uses inference, so they're not altogether that different. Some people like to take these challenges without using any built-ins. Okay, go ahead. I don't personally see the value in that. Um, I don't think it's cheating because in your day-to-day -day job, you'll be solving these kinds of challenges and you should use the built-ins uh, as much as you can. But this basically, if you peel back the layers, is exactly the same as what we did. It's just that it doesn't use, it uses inference instead of using the um, the built-ins. Eh, that's okay. 
Um, let me see. And then there's a nope that I found. Let's take a look at it. Um, let's do this. Okay. So this one fails here because we're passing in unknown. And this is what I was talking about above, that if you pass in that generic constraint, it gets it helps things fail faster. So someone might get a weird result. So let, like, let's look up here. We see that this works for append argument here. It works for A2 as well. But as soon as you get down to this error E1, then you see the problem. So, you know, uh, always good to put those generic constraints in, even if you're not totally sure you need them. I don't think they hurt. If they do, then you'll find out soon anyway. Cool. All right, that's that one.